Hey guys, welcome back. So as I promised a couple weeks ago, I'm going to make a video on how I made my very, very cheap Faraday bag. And you'll kind of see that I just made it up as I went. And that's how I do most things. But it turned out pretty good. Um, so if you don't want to spend three, four, six hundred dollars on a Faraday bag, this one is a great option. And I want to say it cost me around thirty-five dollars. So stay tuned. This is not something that you want to mess up with because it's expensive. But first, I took, um, this is the long way, going this way. So I marked off 19 inches from one side uh, because 19 inches is the width of this. And I'm just going to fold it. It's not the easiest thing to um, work with. But I'm going to fold it along my marked line. close as I can. I mean, this does not have to be perfect by any means, but if I can create a crease, it'll be easier to cut and it kind of creases easily. So there I go. All right. So now I'll cut that. Now I have a new crease right here. One step down. Okay, so this is the 19 inches this way. So it should fit perfectly down in here. I tried to lay this out like to, to make it all in one uh, piece, but it's just not gonna work. It's gonna be too difficult. My brain is not working right now. So I'm going to do several different pieces and tape them together. Let's see if I can get you a view of that. Okay, so you see how it's just lined on the inside there? I'm going to create the other strips to kind of box it in around that, but it seems like it's pretty good. Now the height or I guess depth of this bag was 12 inches, but I'm gonna measure 11 inches so I'm going to come up from, I'm going to come up from the bottom and measure 11 inches, mark it off and create a crease. I'm not going to cut it. It's just going to be a crease that I'm going to use uh, for building my sides, I guess. It's very close to where this other crease already is, but these creases are not like exact measurements. It's just kind of how they put it in the packaging. Every time I mark this fabric, the line just disappears. So it's really hard to see after a few seconds where you have creased it. So basically, if this makes sense, this is going to go into the bottom, this is coming up the side, and then uh, it was 9 inches this way, so yeah, I guess I'll mark off 9 inches. Okay, so from my 12 inch crease, which is the depth of the bag, I'm going to do a 9 inch line, which is the bottom of the bag. I'm sure I'll get all sorts of comments on how I could have done this better. And I welcome all those comments, but by then it will be way too late. All right. And this, I'm gonna crease this way. Yep. 
Oh, I can see my lines through it, so that is good. That helps. I could probably iron this, but it seems to hold its shape pretty well after creasing it. Maybe I should iron the rest of it so I don't see all those other lines that I'm not using. But there we go. We have the, basically, the beginning of something. It's the beginning of something. <laughs> So again, um, what did I say? I wound up going with 11 here. So from this line, I'm going to do mark another 11. Let me just make sure that's what I did. Yep. Okay. So And then again, I'm doing the fold this way. I'm pretty, yep, I just wrote all over my dining table. Oh, well. Don't use Sharpie if you're doing this on your dining table. Lesson learned. It's okay, I'll use a magic eraser to get that off. Okay. Now I think I'm gonna have some extra fabric here. Let's see. Okay, you see kind of the, the shell that I'm making here? And then this is gonna fold over. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do from here, but I will need extra material to fold over the top of this anyway. So I'll leave that for now. I don't know how I'm gonna keep my folds, but Hopefully they'll just stay where I marked them. Let's see how this fits into the bag. Okay, looking pretty good. Can you see that? And I think some people might be asking at this point, why did you actually need to do the folds? Why couldn't you just stick it in there? Well, in order to make my side panels over here, I'll need to have those folds um, just for my measurements for making the side panels. But that's looking pretty good. Okay, so this is the extra fabric that I just cut off from the first bag of Faraday material. And now what I'm going to do is make a... 11 by 9 and I guess I'm going to use my tape to attach that. I'll have two of those, one for each side. I hope I have enough tape. Um, we'll see how it goes. And since I've already marked up my dining table, I might as well just continue on this same path of recklessness. So I guess I'll do 11, 9. Let's see, how long is this? Of course it's not quite long enough, so let's do my 11 first and then I'll cut it. I think 18 is about where I ended there. Oh, 18 because obviously I'm cutting two 9 inch panels. So I'm marking 18 this way. This is how women put stuff together. <laughs> no disrespect. Might as well mark my, is that right? Nine inches.
Hopefully I'll have some extra Faraday material that I can make little bags for my electronics like phone and stuff like that. for later. More extra. This just doesn't seem even, but I'm sure it is. Yep. Oh. I'm ripping my fabric. Okay, so now I have two side panels, nine by 11. Okay, so it just peels off, I guess. Let's see if I can actually do this. So it's the same Faraday fabric, but in tape form. Let me come around here. I should have waited to peel the rest of it off. I just peeled what I was using. Not as easy as I thought it was going to be, but I guess if there is a little gap, it's okay because that gap is covered by Faraday tape. All right, that's as good as it's going to get right there. Let me do the other side. Blah. Yeah, this is not exactly lining up right. It's okay. It's a very amateur job. <laughs> Little 
wrinkly looking. If I was smart, I would have just done the measurements and drawn this diagram um, onto a solid sheet instead of cutting it and then taping it together. But I was kind of doing it in a rush and didn't really think things through. Either way, it will get done. But now I have one step closer to this. So now what I have to do is bring this up, fold these sides in. I think I'm going to go over all these edges with more tape. Um, I'm going to fold these sides in like this and tape along here. That's going to get a little difficult to do. I'll probably have to fold it this way. All right, let me give this a try. Oh, by the way, I did clean my table. Um, I got all the Sharpie marks off with my magic eraser. It was a big pain in the butt. So I'm not gonna be marking my Faraday fabric on the table anymore because I don't wanna have to clean it. Okay, so what I'm gonna attempt to do on this one is I'm going to come on top with this. Oh, geez. There we go. And then... See if it worked. Okay. Are you starting to see what I got going on here? And then this one, I'm going to tape like this. Okay. Kind of working slowly yet surely. I'll figure it out. So as not to be wasteful, I am going to use this little tiny strip and then cut a little bit from here. So how did I do that again? Folded it at a diagonal. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. I'm trying to cover from here to here and attach it down there. And it just seemed to be easier to kind of fold a diagonal like that. So I guess I'll go ahead and apply this piece of tape and then cut the remainder that I need. Make sure not to stick it to your table when you're doing this. <laughs> and it just is, it's just easier if you flip the whole fabric over. Now I just need a little tiny strip for that piece. It looks like a big crinkly mess on the table right now, but I know what I'm doing. Well, not really. So, 
perfect. And then flip it. All right, let's see how that looks. I'll get this way for you. So this is the beginning of my bag. It's very flimsy, um, so I don't know how it's gonna like stand up inside that cooler bag. I'm hoping though, once I get the whole frame the whole thing built that it'll kind of stay solid in there, but it's looking good so far. Okay, so now that I have this frame going, I need to bring this side up and complete the shape here. So I'm going to try, this was the 11 inch um, height, so I need to cut an 11 inch piece of tape for this side and the other side. And... Go ahead and attach that. This is going to be a little more difficult, I think. So... seen people make like jacket jackets and hoodies out of this material and it's it's kind of cool I mean I guess if you want to protect yourself against EMF radiation that kind of stuff all right look at that come on you'll see once I get it inside the cooler bag I think it'll look a lot cooler Ugh, no pun intended Okay, so another 11 inch piece right here. And this is all I have left. This is my precious piece of tape. Flip it over. Okay, so now the defining moment. It is a very flimsy bag. So I'm going to fit this into my cooler bag and see what it looks like. Okay, let me get the camera in here so you can see it better. Okay, so you see how that just fit perfectly in there and all the corners are taped. I think what I'm going to do is tape, maybe use some kind of a double-sided tape to stick this Faraday material to the bag so it all stays in place. 
Uh, but let me get my solar generator and stick it in there. See how it fits. Okay, so I put the solar generator in there. It's in its case inside. Um, it was kind of hard, honestly, to get it in there without this fabric kind of crunching down and folding in on itself. So I think, sorry, it's a bad view. I think I'm going to get some more tape and kind of tape this to here. If that makes sense? So that everything's nice and tight and you don't have this gap. So this is kind of like a trial run on how to make your own Faraday bag. There's Obi. Um... I wouldn't exactly call this thing a tutorial because I had no idea what I was doing. Um, but once I tape the Faraday material to the side of the bag, um, I have this extra flap of material here that will go over and somehow, I guess, I don't know how secure it has to be. Like if I just tuck this all in, is this gonna work? I mean, I think you have to cover all the sides for it to actually be um, secured. So I'm gonna figure a way to kind of make this a more closed system. And then the lid will go on and this just makes it a little easier to carry. But let me know in the comments down below if you guys can think of a way to kind of secure this material over the top. And I think I'm going to copy this same exact pattern that I created with my last um, package of Faraday material and just do a double layer, double insulation. I think it's uh, better to be safe than sorry. I don't know exactly how well one layer will do, so I'm going to do a double layer of the same exact thing. And yeah, I think it's pretty good. If you guys have looked at all for Faraday bags, Faraday cases for solar generators, they're very pricey. And they usually come in a bag that looks similar to this, but it's all coated on the inside with the Faraday material. And they have zippers, so somehow they secured it um, and still had the zippers there. I mean, you, you can't really tape up the zippers with that Faraday material, so... I'll have to look into how other people have made theirs and see if maybe I can copy it. But so far, I like how it turned out. I even have some extra room on the sides. I could put my cords there. I could put a small radio. If I had some walkie-talkies or CBs, I could probably fit them in there. But... Let me know what you think, guys. Um, it was very inexpensive. I'll put links to anything that I did um, purchase online in the description box below. Okay, so I couldn't actually record this test um, because I was using the phone that I record with. Um, but basically, I stuck my son's phone inside the Faraday bag and just kind of folded up the edges. It's not fully taped. It's, you know, just as you saw it last, um, but just kind of folded it down. And I called his phone from my phone like right outside the Faraday bag and not a signal went through. I did this several times and the call never went through. It never showed that there was a missed call on my son's phone. So I think that means that it kind of works. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think. If you try something like this or if you have any better suggestions, uh, leave some comments down below. But I'll see you in the next video.